Hello and welcome to part 8 of the Sculpting in Miniature series. In this part we are going to continue defining our details, while also beginning to boolean some of the shapes together as we prepare the model for printing. I forgot to record briefly and the trunk has been defined a little more using draw sharp to create the impression of wood grain. Let's get some rocks in place to give this area a little more interest. We can start with a sphere and use the scrape brush to flatten out the sides randomly. By duplicating, rotating and scaling our first rock, we can make them appear unique with a little effort. Duplicating and mirroring the leg armour and calf, we can replace the right one with our updated shape to save time. Using pinch, grab, clay strips and smooth, we can tidy up the edges of the clothes. This is essential to getting that clean finished look. Getting the hair to flow nicely takes time in my experience, you need that balance of order and a little chaos to make it look good. Most of the clumps should flow in a consistent direction with the odd one branching away. We don't need many to create the impression of lots of hair. Using clay strips and draw sharp, we can build on our existing shapes to divide them in to additional strands. You could call these our secondary shapes.
Inflate is a great brush here for filling out our strands after they have been defined by clay strips. Duplicating our quiver and masking out a portion using control shift and drag can allow us to mask slice and fill holes so we can mesh filter inflate extra details. A quick pinch at a high strength on the edges can tidy this up even at such a low resolution. The bow grip can be created in the same way as the quiver detail. Once we have inflated this area out, we can use draw sharp to sketch out the grip pattern. Once these are in place, snake hook can be used to flick out the corners to add interest. Selecting all of our torso objects, duplicating, joining together and remeshing creates a nice base to inflate and build our belt from. Painting on the shape using the mask brush, we can use mask slice to new object.
The belt buckle and the end of the belt can be created from a cube. Using the brush symmetry on the X and Z axis, we can quickly draw out the shape of the buckle. Here, I am reducing the resolution of the face a little. This may seem counterintuitive, as we will lose some of the detail we have put in place, but sometimes it's good to step back a little, as it keeps us better in control of our object. The higher the detail, the harder it is to keep control of the shape. Things can get lumpy and strange if you're not careful. Pulling out the corners of the wood seams gives the impression of thorns, or just the wood looking a little rough. The bicep and forearm can be our first boolean. Selecting union here with the boolean modifier binds these objects together cleanly. Well, if you're lucky. We'll talk more about this in the next part as there are a number of tricks to fixing any issues you might come across. There is a built-in add-on called 3D Print Toolbox you will want to enable at this point. This is great for checking your objects are 3D print ready. Combining the right hand now using the boolean modifier, just like the arm. Once things are together here, we can tidy up the seams to make things look a little more natural.
The quiver has been booled together in the same way. Bending the quiver, like this, follows the curvature of the back and it starts to flow better with the character. Upping the resolution means we can pack in more detail here. Using crease, draw sharp and snake hook, we can refine the shapes. Carving in with clay strips, we can create some holes to represent those holes you sometimes find in wood. Another part flies by. Now we have started to combine our shapes. The finished model is not far away at all. It's looking like another one or two more parts to draw this series to a close. Consider supporting the channel on my Patreon for more miniature sculpting content like this. Thanks to everyone who believes in this so far. See you in part 9.